10 News at 6 starts right now. They've all lost loved ones, and they figured the best way to honor them was by coming back to the place they last saw them. A group of high school kids is giving back to hospice to honor their loved ones. They call themselves the cheer team, but you won't find them on the sidelines. Instead, a group of teenagers spends its free time cheering up those in their final days. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Palm Harbor where teens tried to add some joy to the hardest of times. So what did you like to do for fun in high school? Sometimes even the easiest question <laughs> can be hard to answer. Have you ever had any cats? The special moments come when those questions get asked. So both of your kids live here now? So when did you move to Florida? For them to find some place in their heart to see that this is a great thing to do. It's awesome. This group of teenage girls finds joy in those questions <laughs> and in the visits, almost as much as the patients in the hospice beds. I just think the kids today are amazing, giving up their time to visit somebody old like me. We know that they look forward to the visit. Morgan so and Heather. More... Because of this, I definitely want to do something that helps people. Colleen and Isabel. Each like, patient is very unique in their own way. Have been volunteering at a Palm Harbor hospice facility for different amounts of time. We always ask, you know, how are you today? It's always important to give back to the community that gave to you. But no, it's worth their time to give back. I think it's very rewarding. The high school volunteers can do pretty much whatever they want to do with their time. They can go to the beach, the mall, the movies, or just goof around on their cell phone. But what keeps them coming back here to the hospice center are the memories. The memories of loved ones they've lost in this building. I wanted to do something in her memory. I wanted to give back to the organization that did so much for her. I think it just makes you feel very satisfied and know that you are giving back to people. And that's just a very good feeling. It makes us feel good, really like rewarding, you know, making someone's day. On the road in Palm Harbor, I'm Bobby Lewis, 10 News, WTSP. 400 teenagers volunteer with hospice in Pinellas County alone. The twins from the story you just saw, they're Heather and Morgan. They will be honored this weekend with the Outstanding Young Leader Award. They have volunteered more than 800 hours with hospice.